Hey folks, Randy with Dylan Cut and Trim. I wanted to talk about the uh, software I use uh, to manage my business. Um, when I first got started, uh, I actually used PayPal to manage my customers. Honestly, I don't remember how that even worked. Um, I, I can't. I don't know if PayPal had some kind of software. I know it had PayPal had a software that allowed me to manage customers. But I don't remember it being allow, allowing me to do scheduling. So I don't know how I did that. Um, but my second year, I started using uh, Yardbook, which uh, is a free software for lawn care services where you can do scheduling, manage your customers, manage your equipment, all that. And it's, it's nice. It's, it was free at the time. I think they have some uh, uh, paid features now. I don't know because I don't use it anymore. Um, and I, I liked Yardbook. The learning curve was really easy. Uh, it was free, like I said. Um, I haven't looked at their app in over a year, but I can tell you the app was fantastic when I was using it. Um, and then uh, <clears throat> um, they had a form you could use. You could add on to your website that um, honestly was stellar. Um, the best form for free that you could find. Uh, when a customer is looking for you, they can go on there on your site, start clicking through this form, it would take them through the steps, they could select what services they wanted, they could even measure out their property for you, and it was very nicely done, very professional, very beautiful. They're by far, I, I don't know anybody else that does this for free that would give you something like that. It was really cool. Um, <clears throat> they interface with Stripe. I don't know if they interface with anybody else now, but for accepting credit card payments, they interface with Stripe, which made it really, it just made everything convenient. I mean, it was, you know, uh, the way it works for me is if you paid me on a, your invoice on a Monday, uh, the money would be in my account by Wednesday or Thursday. Uh, and it's just very straightforward. It's very just easy. Um, I liked using that. Um, but, you know, I believe in working to grow into the business you want um and so you know, actually i think it's even a biblical principle you know before your fam that you know you don't wait for your family to grow before you start enlarging your tent you do that beforehand and i believe in doing the same thing with the business so i wanted something a bit more robust i wanted software that i could use as a solo guy or software i could use as a uh multi-million dollar company someday <laughs> um, and so a friend of mine uses uh, used service autopilot and he was talking to me about it and so I uh, I decided to use service autopilot holy smokes um, service autopilot's amazing but the learning curve is brutal it took me probably about 15 20 hours of training uh, before I was even remotely comfortable using it um, it was really hard, but it's because it's, it's designed to be used by a big business where you can't necessarily keep things simple. Um, you know, the, I didn't, I didn't understand a lot of the stuff it did at the time, um, when I first got it, but now that I've been using service autopilot for, I think 15 months now, um, it's, it's amazing. And actually it saved me so much time when it came to administrative tasks. Um, I don't think I was using Yardbook to its full potential, but uh, invoicing would take me about 15, 20 hours a month using Yardbook. Uh, it's probably my fault. Um, like I said, I don't think I was using it to the best of it. I don't think I was using Yardbook to its full potential. But um, as soon as I went on to service autopilot, even without not, even with hardly knowing how to use it, my uh, time saving went down to, I mean, uh, it, invoicing went from 15, 20 hours to about 30 seconds. And I'm not kidding. Uh, it's the, so the, the software is that powerful. Um, your ability to communicate with your clients, uh, the customer portal features, um, allowing your customers to log in and pay their fees or update the credit card or you know whatever they've got to do the ability to do signed contracts it just uh, make, it just made things so much easier I mean it's expensive you know I, I had their I have their most expensive membership 
and I pay for the client portal. So just for the software, not including any credit card processing fees or anything like that, you know, you're looking at a hundred bucks a month for for what I have. I know a lot of guys pay a lot more than that uh, for different features that just aren't necessary for me at this point. Uh, <clears throat> So I've been using that to manage my customers, and honestly, unless something really wild happens, I'll be using Service Autopilot for the rest of the time I'm in business. Um, it's just that powerful. The uh, The mobile app works really well. However, it is nowhere near as nice as Yardbooks, which is interesting to me. I, I don't... I think it's just a matter of allocating resources because... The Service Autopilot mobile app is definitely uh, more robust and more powerful as far as what you can do with it. Uh, but Yardbook's mobile app, far and away, easier to use, user interface is better. Um, never had bugs. You know, God forbid you forget to clock, clock out of a job or you forget to mark that you're not uh, you're not currently driving or on a break in uh, Service Autopilot. Because that, that can really play hell with using the app. I had one time where I don't, it was like a bug in the system. Um, they ended up, uh, I had to log out of something like 30, uh, 30 breaks and five drive times uh, before I was able to use the app. It was a little ridiculous. Um, but overall, I mean, like I would say, I mean, Aesthetics aren't everything, and I can deal with bugs because of how powerful the software is. So Service Autopilot is fantastic. And it gives you the opportunity to charge people's cards after each service, and it's just far and away the best software I've ever used. Now, the software I use uh, for managing the finances, I use um, QuickBooks Self-Employed. It costs 10 bucks a month. Um, and it, you know it does everything I need. It's a, I need a money financial management uh, application to do. It's not feature intensive at all, um, but it gets the job done, and so that that works for me. Um, and I actually it really pay kind of pays for. It's kind of like getting it half off because I was originally using an app called Mile IQ uh, to track my mileage. Um, and the nice thing about uh, QuickBooks Self-Employed is that um, their mobile app will actually, if you have it on your phone, it'll just follow you around. It'll track your miles, and you just got to mark stuff as personal or business. And it'll track it all that for you and take care of, you know, looking for the deductions and all that. Uh, and man, that's convenient, because I can tell you, I would never, I, I, there's no way I would remember to track my miles. Um, so that, actually, that's one of my favorite features. So Mile IQ, I think, is 5 bucks a month. So you figure QuickBooks Self-Employed is 10 bucks a month, you know, and you get the mileage tracker. And, you know, it, QuickBooks Self-Employed pretty much stays with the theme of Service Autopilot because, you know, Service Autopilot, their whole thing is about putting your business on autopilot. And, you know, if you really put in the effort in the beginning... Um, QuickBooks Self-Employed will also put your finances on autopilot as far as like tracking them. Um, and what I mean by that is they've got a feature and it's probably in all the versions, but whatever. Um, and maybe all finance applications have this, but it has a feature called create rule where instead of every single transaction you have to, um, mark it as business and then categorize it you can just say whenever i spend money here it's definitely business and it's this category so for the sake of example um, if i go to the exxon to fill up my gas tank uh, when that charge shows up in quickbooks it automatically knows that's a business transaction and uh, it's fuel um, and so it'll auto categorize that i don't ever have to mess with it um, and so all I just do is at the end of the year, I will go back through and just make sure everything is categorized correctly. Um, but, uh, you know, very convenient, very easy. Um, other than that, you know, like, uh, 
those are all the, the pieces of software that I actually pay for. Now, there are some websites I use for my business um, that uh, don't cost anything. Uh, most of my lawn mowing, the pricing is done by square footage. Um, and so you can usually get that info on Zillow.com. Um, if not, uh, in my state, Maryland, we have, the, I believe it's the Department of Tech. I don't know, DTAT, I can't remember what that stands for, or DAT, I don't know, Department of Assessment and Tech, I don't know what it's called, but whatever, I've got it bookmarked, <laughs> and you can type in somebody's address there, and it'll give you the square footage of the lot, um, and then the other website that I use, if for some reason Zillow and that website aren't giving me the information I need, is uh, findlotsize.com. That is a great resource for trying to figure out how big an area is, or if you know, if you got a, if it's something like a, a church where they have may have a one-acre property, but like 65% of it's a parking lot. Yeah, you know, uh, find lot size is a really nice feat uh, tool for measuring how much of mowing area they actually have, so you can give a more fair and accurate price. Um, so that's the software I use. Um, I'd love to hear what people's thoughts are. Um, I know there's a lot of debate over, especially Service Autopilot for, versus Yardbook, and I'm strongly in the camp of they're both great, but I would go Service Autopilot every time. Uh, but I'd like to hear what other people are using. Um, so you know, leave a comment, leave a like, subscribe, all that fun stuff. Look forward to hearing from you.